Hi, so now I am going to perform or discuss the cardiac assessment. So whenever I am assessing a patient's uh, anterior chest wall, I am looking for uh, symmetry. I am looking, monitoring, the, looking at the patient's effort of breathing, any retractions. Uh, I am looking for contour. Um, and uh, while assessing the chest wall, I'll look at the jugular vein and inspect the jugular vein. Then the, the jugular vein, and I would have the patient lay at about roughly a 45 degree angle. And I would, and sometimes it's easier to see the jugular vein with a light of some sort. I want to locate the jugular vein and it's usually, it usually overlaps the sternocleidoid mastoid muscle. And as you can see, I mark my there. Yeah. So what I'm looking for, a normal finding would be a flat, somewhat flat jugular vein. If it's uh, bulging, that could indicate that there's an increase in central venous pressure. And that's usually found in patients with CHF. After I palpate the jugular vein, I want to palpate for the apical pulse. Now, uh, the landmarks, uh, let's see, the sternal notch, which is right here, the notch that's between the clavicles, right there. Um, I'll run my finger down the angle of Lewis and to the left. That's the second intercostal space. I would find the mid middle of the clavicle, that's the mid clavicular line. And I mean, I know, but for the video purpose, um, I'll show you guys. Okay, and now count five, five, one, two, yeah. And for larger breast women, you don't want to like lift the breast and listen to the apical pulse, but it is uh, the fifth in a cross or space mid clavicular line. Um, after I palpate the apical pulse, I will want to uh, auscultate the carotid arteries. So when auscultating the carotid arteries, um, first I will want to use, I'm listening for bruids. Uh, I want to use the bell of the stethoscope, which is right here. Uh, I would have, no, the carotid artery is located um, between the trachea and the sternal sternal mastoid muscle. Uh, so I would palpate. Whenever I'm palpating, I would have my patient uh, take a deep breath, hold it, and this way you will not hear false bruids. So. So um, uh, now I would want to palpate my carotid artery. And it's important to palpate the carotid artery one at a time. If you do not, you could cause, cause vagal stimulation, which can lower the patient's heart rate. And it's not a good thing, especially in the elderly. So when you're locating, again, it's between the trachea and the sternocleidoid mastoid muscle. And I, I mark mine. So when I'm palpating, uh, I'm I, I'm palpating for amplitude, and I can tell you that mine is a plus two. <sighs> yes, I think that's all. Okay, and next I'll 